Welcome everybody to Foundations and Flexibility. Let's make sure that we have our straps handy or belt out of your closet and your props if you need it. My faithful paper towels that I use for props and um, any blanket or anything for your tush, for your knees, all right? Let's start, let's lay down on our backs. Oh, let's go ahead just to start, keep our back nice and safe. Let's walk your feet in, bend your knees, and then walk your feet out right and left on your mat and allow your knees to fall in towards each other to touch. That'll just release your low back. Let's go ahead and put our right hand on our belly and our left hand on our heart. And just allow ourselves to breathe a little bit. Feel your heart beating. Maybe your heart begins to fill up with gratitude. Able to do all these things remotely, perhaps. Let's exhale everything out. Take a deep inhale in, filling up from the belly to the middle of the chest, to the upper chest, all the way up to the top. Hold at the top for three, two, one, and exhale everything out. Inhaling and filling up from the belly to the middle of the chest, to the upper chest, all the way up to the top. Hold at the top for three, two, one, and exhale everything out. One more deep inhale in, filling up from the belly to the middle of the chest, to the upper chest, all the way up to the top. Hold at the top for three, two, one, and exhale everything out. Very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and bring our right knee into our chest. Give it a squeeze. The left leg can stay long or the left knee can be bent with the foot on the floor. Let's go ahead and take that right knee. Let's do some hip circles in one direction or knee circles. Warm up. And then let's take that knee and move those circles in the opposite direction. Perfect. All right. And then let's go ahead, we'll take our straps, we'll wrap it around the ball of the foot. Take that foot up to the sky. If you don't have a strap, just grab behind your hamstring. Perfect. Either is fine. And let's stretch out that right hamstring. If you want to straighten out your left leg, you can, but if you want to keep it bent and find some stability, that's fine. Hold it here. Stretching out this right hamstring for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that strap into the right hand. Take the left arm out to the left. Let's take the right leg out to the right, opening up the groin, keeping the left shoulder on the ground, holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one, right leg comes up. Let's put both of the straps in the left hand. The right arm goes out to the right. Take the right leg over towards the left, stretching out. Side of the right IT band, keeping the right hip on the ground. Holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let's bring that right leg up. Let's release the strap or the leg. Bring that right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. And then bring that left knee in to meet the right, squeezing both of your knees at the same time. Nice big squeeze. And then let's keep the left knee in and put the right foot on the ground. Let's take some hip circles or knee circles, which will warm up the hip with that left knee in one direction. And then let's take 
So in circles with that knee in the opposite direction. Okay. And then let's go ahead and take the strap and let's put it around the ball of the left foot and take that left leg up towards the sky. Put a micro bend in that left knee. Let's stretch out the left hamstring. Right knee can be long or um, right leg can be long or right knee can be bent with right foot on the ground. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring both of the straps in the left hand. Take the left leg out to the left. Keeping the right arm out to the right, stretching out the left groin for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that left leg up. Put both of the straps in the right hand. Left arm comes out to the left. Take that right leg across the body. Left hip, sorry, left leg across the body to the right. And then keep the left hip on the ground to stretch out that left IT band holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that left leg up. Let's release the left leg. Bring the left knee to the chest. Bring the right knee in to meet the left. Give them both a little bit of a squeeze. And then make your way up to a comfortable seat safely. So you can come through a fetal position on either side, rock your way up. And let's come into an easy seat. We call this Sukhasana. Okay, so you can come to sit on your rear if your knees are bothering you. Putting a prop underneath them can help, whatever works for you. Okay. Seated cat cows. Warm up our shoulders, arms forward, and then let's open up. Inhale, open, gaze up, chest open, arms back. Exhale, round back, chin to chest. Spine is rounded, hands forward. Inhaling in, opening up the chest. Gaze up, chest open. Exhale, round, chin to chest, all the way back. Inhaling in. Opening up and exhaling and rounding. All right, let's go ahead and open up. Bring our fingertips down to the side. We're going to flow right and left before we hold. So let's go ahead and keep your left fingertips on the ground. We're going to inhale our right arm up and over to the left. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to bring that right arm down and we're going to take the left arm up and over. Inhale this up and over. And then exhale, bring the left hand down to the ground. Inhale, the right arm up and over. And exhale, bring it to the ground. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale. Exhale, bring it to the ground. Then we're going to inhale the right arm up and over, and we're going to hold. All right, we're going to engage our low belly. You're going to plant that right hip on the ground. Maybe you look up under, stretch out the right side of the body for five, for four, for three, two, and one. We're going to switch sides. Inhale up. And then exhale, take this left arm up and over, right fingertips on the ground, planting the left hip on the ground, stretching out, gazing up underneath that arm, low belly's engaged for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and come up to seated. All right. So we're also going to do some breathing and twisting, and then we'll do some holds similar to what we did then. All right, so if it's not complicated, don't worry. I'll do it with you. You're going to inhale your arms all the way up, and then you're going to exhale. You're going to twist over to your left, right? Left hand behind you, right hand on left knee, look back, and then 
Inhale, bring your arms back up to the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right. And then your left hand goes on right. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, over to the right. Hands come down. And this next one we're going to hold. We're going to inhale up. Exhale, twisting over to the left. Your right hand will go on your left knee. Your left hand is behind you, looking back. Planting the sits bones, engage the low belly for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Now inhale all the way back up and we will twist over to the right. Left hand on right knee, right hand behind you. Point your sits bones looking back over that right shoulder, holding here. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale all the way back up to center. And then exhale, bring your hands over your heart center. All right, let's make our way onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position. Okay, so if your wrists are bothering you, bring your fist for wrist or bring your forearms to the ground. If that's what you need, it's fine. Bring your forearms to the ground. If you're able to come up onto your hands, right? Shoulders are stacked over wrists, hips are stacked over knees. Let's do a few cat cows here. We're going to inhale, drop the belly, gaze up, tailbone up. Exhale, press into the hands, round the back, chin to chest. Inhaling in, gaze up, tailbone up, drop the belly. Exhale, press into the hands, round the back, chin to chest. Inhaling in, opening up. Exhaling and press and round. Inhale in, open up. Exhale, press and round. All right, and then let's come into a neutral flat back. I'm facing you so you can see me because we're going to do some other uh, things today. I want everybody to go ahead and take their right leg behind them. All right, and then bring your weight into your right fingertips and bring your left arm forward like you're shaking somebody's hand. This is called stick pose, and you're going to hold here, low belly's engaged, head and neck is long for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Now, bring that left hand down, take that right leg out to the side and set that right foot on the ground straight out to the side all right you're going to bring your fingertips in and you're going to come up onto the left knee all right so the right leg is out to the side you're coming up onto the left knee you're going to take your left arm up and over your right hand on that leg and you're going to stretch 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 out the left side of the body low belly's engaged tailbone's tight gaze is under the left arm holding here Stretching out for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Let's come back up. You're going to bring your hands back to the mat and walk them back out into your tabletop position. You'll lift your right leg up into the air, stretch that right leg back, and then bring the right knee down to meet the left back into a tabletop position. All right, we'll switch side. You're gonna go ahead. You're gonna take that left leg back. You'll bring the weight into the left fingertips. If you can, it's optional. And then see if you can bring the right arm forward like you're shaking somebody's hand, head and neck is long, low belly's engaged, holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Bring the right hand down. Take the left leg out to the side. Set that foot on the ground. Walk the fingertips in. Come up onto the right knee, and then bring your left hand over on that leg, and the right arm up 
and over, stretching out that right side of the body. Holding here, right? Stretching out, pressing in for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Come back up. Let's bring the hands back to the ground. Walk them into a tabletop position. Lift the left leg up, stretch it straight back, and then bring the left knee down to meet the right back into your tabletop position. All right. Let's go ahead and thread the needle. Let's plant the left hand on the ground. You're going to inhale your right arm straight up towards the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then you're going to exhale. You're going to thread the right arm underneath the left and put the right side of the head on the ground, stretching out the shoulders. Holding here, inhaling and exhaling for five, for four, three, two, and one. Press into the left. Inhale the right arm up towards the sky, and then exhale, right hand down to the left. We'll switch sides. Let's inhale the left arm up towards the sky, exhale, thread that left arm underneath the body, putting the left side of the head on the ground, stretching out the back of that left shoulder, holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Press into the right hand, inhale the left arm up, and then exhale, left hand comes down to meet the right in the tabletop position. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way onto our bellies, okay? We'll take our fingertips wide out, right and left off of our mats. You can put your nose or your chin on the mat. Point your toes, right? Stretch out your legs, point your toes. Toes are slightly turned in, heels out, low bellies engaged, press the pelvis in, we're gonna do so baby cobras, you're going to inhale, your chest up, gaze is forward, strengthen the back, exhale, come down. Inhaling in, stretching up, strengthening the back, exhale, roll down. Inhale, come up, exhale, and roll down. Inhaling up, and exhaling down. And this last one, let's come up. And hold here, engage your low belly, try to let your pumpkin soften, strengthening the back. Maybe your fingertips come off the ground, still breathing, don't hold your breath just because you're holding the pose, right? For three, two, and one, and then go ahead and come down. Let's make our way up onto our hands and knees. All right, let's take our knees in, out, and our feet in towards each other. Let's come to sit back onto our heels, stretch our arms forward, and find a child's pose. Just one good big spinal stretch here. So sticking your butt all the way back as you send your head all the way forward, right? Nice, good, long child's pose. Holding here. Inhaling and exhaling. Stretching it out. All right, and then let's make our way back up. And hands and knees, whatever works, and then we'll come up to standing. <laughs> let's come up to standing. You can continue to face the screen. We'll do some half sun salutation, right, to continue warming up and moving. So let's find our mountain pose here. Our feet are approximately hip width apart. They're outside of the feet are parallel. You'll find your low belly engagement as you lengthen your tailbone down, right? Open the arms up towards the front. Head is stacked. Let's inhale our arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, low bellies engaged. Swan guide down towards the mat. 
Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Press into the feet. Inhaling your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale your hands over your heart center. Two more. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhaling all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center. Inhaling, arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down to the mat. Inhale, your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, your hands over your heart center. Down by your side. All right. Let's take some external poses, right? So let's take our feet wide, right and left, all right? So outside of the feet are parallel to the mat, and then feet are approximately under your wrist, whatever feels that good or a little bit closer together. Heels, or toes are slightly pigeon toed. All right, let's start on our right side. We're gonna take our entire right leg. We're gonna rotate it over towards the right end of our mat, and we're gonna come into warrior two, stacking the right knee over the right ankle, and we're gonna find a little bit of movement. So your right knee is tracking towards your right pinky toe. All right, so we're gonna inhale, we're gonna straighten this right leg, and then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna bend in the leg. Bend as far as you feel comfortable, as long as the knee doesn't go in front of the ankle. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend. One more. Inhale, straighten. You're going to exhale. We're going to bend and we're going to hold it for five, for four, three, two, and one. You're going to inhale, straighten. You're gonna parallel the right foot in the same direction as the left. And then you're gonna take the left foot and you're gonna send it towards the left end of the mat. If your arms are getting tired, your shoulders are getting tired, you can put your hands on your hips for a break. And then let's bend in this left knee, opposite side. Left knee is tracking towards left pinky. If your arms are not too tired, you can take them out if they are, put them on your hips, it's fine. And then we'll do that dynamic movement. We'll inhale, straighten that left leg, and then exhale, bend and track. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, and bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, and bend. One more, inhale, straighten that leg out. Then exhale, let's bend and hold. We'll hold here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Put your hands on your hips. Let's straighten that left leg and parallel the feet. Okay, let's come into a goddess pose and then we'll move into a couple of others. So we're gonna bring our heels in and toes out the side. They're slightly angled, right? And then we're going to come into a goddess, a squat. So you're coming down a squat. You don't have to go too low. You want to try to keep your knees, ankles, and toes aligned. Try to keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. And then see if you can bring your arms out right and left with your hands facing forward. Engage your low belly. Lengthen the tailbone. This is very strengthening pose. Hold in here for five, for four. For three, two, and one. And then stretch everything out, hands, feet, and arms. And then go ahead and bring your hands over your hips. And let's go ahead this time and step our feet together and shake it out. Okay. We'll do some neutral poses, which are facing forward, and then we'll move back into some more external poses. All right. So let's take a chair pose. Take your feet approximately hip width apart, right? Parallel. 
And let's go ahead and start to bring a bend in our knees. You can bring your hands over your heart center. Find your front body engagement as you lengthen your tailbone. You should look down and be able to see your toes. If you want, you can bring your arms up. Shoulder blades are down the back. Holding here, raising your heels. Power up, right, for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Keep your arms up if you can. If they're over your heart center, that's fine. Straighten out the legs. Engage your low belly. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Swan dive down, just like we did in our half sun salutations. And then inhale with the flat back. Exhale and fold. We're going to find a little bit of movement. Press into the feet. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Shoulder blades down the back, pinky spinning in. Exhale, come into a chair pose again. Shoulder blades down, low bellies engaged. Weight in the heels for five, for four. Even though you're holding your breath, don't hold the pose. Two and one. Inhale up, straighten out the legs. Exhale, swan dive down to the mat. Drop your head and your hand. Press into the feet. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, come back. Last chair pose. Bend your knees, holding here for five, for four, for three, two. And one, stand and bring your hands over your heart center. If they're not there, good job. That's a lot, that's very strengthening. Let's take some warrior poses, warrior one poses. So we did warrior two. Now we're gonna take some warrior one poses. So our feet are about hip width apart and parallel, okay? And so everybody's gonna go ahead and take their left foot and step back. You're gonna keep your right foot forward, but your left foot is pointed out at like 10, 11 o'clock, right? And then you're gonna put a bend in the right knee and power up that back leg, okay? So we're facing forward, our hips are facing forward. This is what it looks like from the side, right? So it's not open uh, and the hips, it's closed. Engage your low belly, tuck your tailbone, bring your arms up if you can, if they're not too tired, shoulder blades down the back, pinky spinning in. And then we're gonna do some bend and straighten with that front leg again, right? Like we did in warrior two. So you're gonna inhale and straighten that right leg. And then exhale, bend and come in, power up that back leg. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale and bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend. And this last one, we're going to inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend that front right leg into warrior one. Hold here for five, for four, for three, two. And one. Now put your hands on your hips. Let's straighten that right leg. Find your low belly engagement and think right hip back, left hip forward, neutral hips. And then we're going to fold forward over that right leg. And you can even keep your hands on your hips. Maybe they drop fingertips to the ground or you use uh, paper towels or your props, whatever works. I just want you to stretch out that front right hamstring. We won't be here for long. Holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Wherever your fingertips are, put them back on your hips and come all the way back up. So both of the legs are straight, all right? You're gonna take now your left arm straight forward, right in front of you, maybe it's towards the screen, and you're gonna take your right arm and pull back and you're gonna open up, you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna open it to the back of the room if you can, it's a twist. 
right? So we're looking like this from the side, right? Looking like this with your left arm forward and your right arm back and your right leg forward. We're holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Bring both of your hands up and forward over your heart center and step your left foot up to meet the right at the top of the mat and shake it out. Okay, let's do a little bit more on the other side. So you're gonna keep your left foot forward and you're gonna step your right leg back. And this time your right leg is gonna be at like one or two o'clock or your right foot, right? So your hips are pointed straight forward towards the front of the room. You're gonna put a bend in the left knee, warrior one, opposite side, back, right leg is powerful and strong and straight. Engage the low belly as you lengthen your tailbone down, bring your arms up if you're not too tired. Otherwise, put them under your hips, right? If your shoulders aren't stretched, shoulder blades down the back, keep the spin again. Let's do that dynamic movement in the front leg, right? So inhale, straighten out the left leg. Exhale, bend in the left leg. Inhale, straighten, exhale, and bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, and bend. One more, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend, and hold here. Power up for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to your hips. Let's straighten that left leg and think left hip back, right hip forward, engage the low belly, take a deep inhale, then exhale, fold forward over that left leg. Maybe your head drops towards the ground. If your fingertips can come down to the ground or a prop spine, otherwise they can stay on your hips. Holding here for five, for four, really stretching out that left hamstring. Three, two, and one. Engage your low belly. Inhale all the way back up. All right, let's take that twist. This time, you're taking your right arm forward, right? As you extend your left elbow towards the back, and then maybe the left hand goes, faces to the back of the room. So we're doing that straight leg twist. Look over, straight ahead, if that's easiest, over to your left. Holding here for five, engage your low belly. For four, thumbs are facing the sky. Three, two, and one. Bring your left hand up to meet the right, hands over heart center, and then step your back leg up to meet the front and shake it out. That's a lot. Good job. All righty. Let's do one more um, external and neutral poses, okay? So we're gonna take our legs back out wide again, right? So we did wide, open, neutral, we're coming back out wide, all right? And then let's all take, once again, the wide um, heels out, toes slightly turned in. This time, we'll take our right leg, we'll turn our right leg towards uh, the right end of the mat, We'll bend in the right knee again. So same pose, the legs as warrior two, pose that we did earlier, take the arms out, right and left. And this time we'll take a side angle pose. So we'll lean, lean, lean forward with our right arm. And this time we're gonna take our right forearm on our right leg and we're gonna take our left arm up and over towards the front left corner of the room. Engage the low belly, bring the left shoulder blade down the back, Lengthen down and stretching out the left side of the body. Look down for a balance. Maybe you look up. You got left arm for a challenge. Holding here for four, for three, two, and one. Let's inhale back up to warrior two, right? Straighten that right leg, parallel the feet again towards the side of the mat and then take the left leg and turn it towards the left end of the mat. Remember, your hands can always come on your hips if your shoulders get tired. But a bend in that left knee back to warrior two legs 
And then we're gonna lean, lean, lean with the left and we'll put the left forearm on the left side and take the right arm up and over towards the front right corner of the room, stretching from the right fingertips all the way up to the top. Low belly's engaged, length and look down for balance. Maybe you look slightly up under that right arm for a challenge. We'll be here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, straighten that left leg, and then parallel the feet. All right, so we're paralleling the feet again, right? So if you take your arms out, your feet are approximately under wrist. Toes are slightly turned in, slightly pigeon toed, okay? Engage your low belly, all right? Engage your quads, lift your kneecaps, and you're gonna inhale your chest up. Exhale, you're gonna fold just halfway down. Just fold halfway down. You're gonna turn sideways with a nice flat back. You're gonna take your fingertips and put them right under your nose, right? Or put them on a prop if you need a prop, right? So if you need something to put them on, go ahead and put them on. Otherwise, they're gonna be right under your nose. You're looking straight down at the ground. Your low belly's engaged. I want a long line from your tailbone to the top of the head. You're gonna plant the left hand right underneath your nose. You're gonna take the right hand to the right shoulder and take the right elbow up to the sky. You're gonna press into the left hand, leave your hips nice and neutral, and then twist open to the right. And if you want, you can keep your right hand here, your right shoulder, or you can take the right arm up to the sky. Your right thumb is facing the same direction as your head, but try to keep your hips nice and flat. Don't let your hips go askew. Holding here, twisting from the center of the belly up. Look down for balance. Look up for a challenge. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand down to replace the left. We're switching sides. So you'll pull right hand right under the nose. Take the left hand on the left shoulder. Press into the right hand. Open up the left elbow up towards the sky. And maybe it stays here. Maybe you release the left hand to come straight up towards the sky. Pressing into the right hand. Look down for balance. Look up for a challenge. Left thumb facing the same direction as the head. Hips are neutral for five, for four, for three, two. And one, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that left hand down to meet the right, engage the low belly, put your hands on your hips, and then with the flat back, come all the way up to stand. All right, and then let's step our feet back together wherever they are. Okay, let's take a balancing pose before we move to the ground. So today we'll take tree pose, so if you have a chair, most of you need to have a chair if you need it, or a wall, you can use a wall. If you need something for balance, maybe you don't need anything for balance, that's fine. The other thing is, is when you're on your mat, sometimes it's hard to balance, so sometimes it's easy to just step on the floor. If you're on a carpet, maybe you need a wall, right? Okay, so I'm gonna offer you options. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna start by bringing all the weight into our right foot, all right? Engage the low belly, firm that right hip in, come to the ball of the left foot, turn the left heel in towards the right ankle, and turn the left knee out to the left, and bring your hands over your heart center. Engage the low belly, how the neck is long. Maybe you just stay right here and you're like, I'm good for today, right? Some of you may want to bring the weight more into the right foot, and bring those left toes off the ground and put the left foot on the right calf. Just don't put it on your knee so it goes above or below. And you're taking that left knee and turning it out to the left. It's also a hip stretch. It's a balance and a hip stretch. For five, for four, for three, two, and one, and step that foot out and shake it out. Anything you need, shake it out. 
All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna switch sides. So let's go ahead and bring that hand over the heart center, bringing that weight in towards the left foot, all right? And then coming up to the ball of the right foot, turning that right knee out, and then putting that right heel on the inside of the left foot, just like you're like a little kickstand, right? Head and neck is long, engage the low belly. In towards the body, right? So it's not sticking out. So it's not, and then maybe you lift that right leg off of the ground with the right knee pointed out. It's up to you. It's all optional. Holding here, turning that right knee out for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Step out and shake it out. All right. Perfect. Let's make our way back down on to our knees. And this time, for the sake of time, we're going to make our way onto our rear ends. So we did a lot of standing. We don't need to spend any more time on our knees. This is fine. Let's go ahead and extend our legs out long in front of us. All right. And we're going to do a forward fold. If you have a belt, I don't know if you just did that, I'm going to. If you have a belt, and you can't touch your toes, take your belt and put it around the balls of your feet. If you, if you can, if you don't even have a belt and you can't touch your toes, that's okay. You'll put your hands on the outside of your legs, right and left. It's totally up to you. So go ahead and plant your six bones, sit nice and tall, use that belt around the balls of your feet, take a deep inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, allowing your upper body to fall, Maybe you're able to walk your hands down a little closer to the feet. Some of you may be able to grab your toes and then pull your upper body down. Please put a micro bend in your knees so you're not hurting your hamstrings, right? Like just a micro bend so you're not, not hyperextending what it means behind your knee. Holding here, maybe you allow your head to drop. So this is also a good stretch for the back, right? All in here, hamstring stretch, lengthening the spine, dropping the head for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Inhaling up with the flat back and that same release or release your straps or whatever you have. Perfect. All right, let's walk our feet in. And bring our feet together, heels out, knees out. Now remember, if your knees are bothering you, stick a prop under your knees, right? We all mostly have paper towels. A lot of you have blocks. All of you who are, who are on this call have blocks. I'm pretty sure if you want to stick that. If you need it, you may not need it. It's fine. And then, if you can, grab your feet, kind of like you're opening up the bottom of your feet like a book if that's possible. And then you're gonna inhale your chest up. Exhale, fold over your leg. You can actually round your back and drop your head if you want to fold forward. Fold in here. This is called Baddha Konasana, which is bound angle pose. And there's three versions. A, B, and C, and the rounded back is the version B. So we're taking Bhattakanasana B tonight. Bound ankle pose. Hold in here for five, for four, for three, two, and the one. Inhale up, and then exhale. Let's go ahead, straighten those legs back out again. Wiggle them out. Remember, you can elevate your hips if you need to. All right. Let's take head to knee pose, which is good for our back. Jamie Shoshasana A. So everybody's going to leave their right leg long. And I want you to bring your left foot to the inside of the right side of the leg, like you're taking a high tree pose, right, with your legs. And we will we'll use our straps tonight if you have one with you. I'm going to ask you to take your strap. And, or your belt and put it around the right leg, okay. all right? And then you're gonna grab that strap with your left hand. So your left hand is gonna grab the strap 
around your right foot. It's going to be around the ball of the right foot. And you're going to take your right hand out to the side, and then you're going to keep your legs right where they are, engage the low belly. And then you're going to use this left hand to pull your upper body down towards that right leg, especially pulling the left side of the body towards the right leg. So use the strength of the arm to do this. Your head can drop down and maybe you're able to get closer. Some of you may be able to take the left foot, left hand and grab the right foot. That's fine too. Some of you are flexible enough to do that. Otherwise use the strap. I want you to feel the stretch from the left side of the hip all the way up the left side of the back towards the left shoulder. Depending on where you're tight, you'll feel it in any of those places, right? So it's up and down the left side of the spine. Holding here, inhaling and exhaling. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then take deep inhale, exhale, slowly come up. Nice, and then let's just switch sides. So you'll take this left leg, you'll extend it long. Extend that left leg long. Bring this right foot to the inside of the left leg. Once again, you've got your props if you need it. Some of you may have knee pain, it's perfectly acceptable. All right, you're gonna plant your sits bones. Your right leg, right foot is on the inside of the left leg. You're going to take your strap around the ball of the left foot, right? And then you're going to grab that strap with the right hand to start. And then take the left hand down to the side. You're going to pull the right side of the body towards that left leg. Maybe your head drops. Some of you can wiggle down and then use the right hand to grab the left foot and pull it down, right? Stretching the outside of the right side of the body. Holding here from the hip all the way up the side of the back. Inhaling and exhaling. For five, for four, three, two, and one, inhale up, exhale, let's release. Let's come all the way up and then straighten out those legs. Shake it out, okay? And then let's make our way all the way down onto our backs. So let's make our way down into our backs and bend your knees and walk your feet in towards your rear end. Let's take our arms out right and left. And all I want you to do to start is just windshield wipe of your knees all the way to the right. And then bring them up and windshield wipe your knees all the way to the left. Just kind of a reset here. Let's take our knees all the way over to the right. And then bring them up, take them all the way over to the left. Stretch it out. Just do that a few more times, each side. Feeling a good reset here. Yeah. And then let's go ahead and stretch out our hips. So once again, you may use a strap. We do this every week. You could also use a wall or a chair. I'm gonna cue you with a strap tonight. All right, let's take our left ankle over our right knee, flex our left foot. You can take your strap around that right hamstring, right? And then you're gonna pull this right knee up and towards you. The right foot will come off the ground as the left knee goes away from you, stretching out that left glute, right? So pulling this right knee in. And remember, for those of you who have props, your right foot can go in a chair. You can use the wall if you want, work it down. I just want that left glute to really relax and stretch out. All the sitting, all that stuff is good for us. Holding here, inhaling and exhaling. Stretching out. 
much now. Take the big hand. Exhale, go ahead and release both of the legs, feet to the ground. Undo the strap. Let's windshield wiper those knees just a few times, just to reset. And then let's switch sides. You're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. You're going to put the strap around the left hamstring if you need it or use a prop. Either is fine, right? And then bring this left knee in towards you as you send the right knee away, flexing that right foot, stretching out this big right glute, this big hip muscle right here, and the right butt cheek. Holding here, right? Inhaling and exhaling. Letting that relax. Mm. Ah. And then for five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead and release both feet to the ground, release the strap off to the side, which will wipe through your knees a little bit, which may help. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do a nice, good, gentle back twist. So you're going to bring your right knee into your chest. You're going to extend the left leg long if you can. All right, and then you're going to take the right hand out to the side, okay? And you're gonna come up, you're gonna twist the lower body over onto the left hip. And so your right knee is gonna come across the body to the left, your left hand may go on top of the right knee, trying to keep the right shoulder on the ground, right? Low belly's engaged. Look straight up to the sky if that's what works for your neck. Some of you may be able to look to the right. Make sure that your head and neck is an extension, right, of your spine. So you're nice and lined up. Do a nice, gentle twist here. Inhaling and exhaling. Take deep in. Exhale, let's bring that right knee back. Come back onto your back. Perfect, bring the left knee in to meet the right. And we're gonna switch sides. Rock around if you need to. And then keep that left knee in, extending the right leg nice and long. All right, and then you're gonna take the left leg across the body over to the right, come up on the right hip. Maybe the right hand comes on the left knee, the left arm goes out to the left. Try to keep the left shoulder on the ground, but lift up your head if you need to move it so your spine stays aligned. Hold in here. Stretching out, inhaling and exhaling. And then take deep inhale, exhale. Come back on your back, bring your left knee into your chest. Bring the right knee in to meet the left. Give them a bit of a squeeze. 
And then let's make our way into our Shavasana, our last pose on our backs. Whatever's comfortable for you, so you can stretch your legs out and your arms out if that feels good. If your low back is bothering you, walk your feet in. Knees are touching. Feet are slightly out, right and left, and that will release your low back, just like when we started. You can take your Shavasana right here. I'll bring you out in just a couple minutes. We won't be here long. Just a little bit of a reset. Let your mind and your heart fill up with gratitude, just like where we started. Gratitude that we are able to be here with one another. Gratitude that we have computers in Zoom, in yoga, even in the midst of the challenges we're facing with the quarantine, there's a lot of things for us to be grateful for um, that we're very blessed to have. And so let's focus on gratitude. Let's focus on the good things. Start to take some deeper inhales and exhales. Bringing your awareness back to your body. Start to find some movement. Fingers and toes and waking up from your nap. And then Ready, bringing your knees in to your chest and slowly and safely making your way up to a nice comfortable seat. However you can, whatever works for you, no hurry, just take your time. Sitting nice and tall. Let's end our practice 
with three deep breaths together. We'll inhale in and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and exhale. The light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in me salutes the light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in all of you. Thank you for coming and sharing your practice with me today. It is an honor to be with you. Namaste.